Our mission is delivering the highest quality parks and recreation experiences for the entire Flagler County community through collaboration and comprehensive planning. Home Coast and Flagler County team up to spend $200,000 on a blueprint for the future of the city's parks. Brittany McDermott, Deputy Director of Parks and Rec for Palm Coast, describes the scope of the work. A comprehensive inventory of recreation facilities. This would require looking at not just City of Palm Coast facilities, but Flagler County government, school board, other municipalities, as well as private recreation areas. We really, again, want that comprehensive inventory. Another part is a needs assessment through community involvement. It's hugely important that we get the voices of our community and that we do provide that input throughout this entire process, so that was a notable part of the scope of work. That'll be done through stakeholders, focus groups, community partnerships, as well as statistically valid surveys. McDermott made the recommendation to hire accounting and IT consultancy firm Barry Dunn, based in Portland, Maine, for this project. They have decades of experience working in local government parks and recreation agencies. Something unique about the staff members of Barry Dunn is a lot of them were former parks and recreation professionals themselves. So they were parks and recreation directors, parks planners, park superintendents. They have a very intimate and unique experience and knowledge of what it takes to be in parks and recreation and how to balance the community needs with those local government processes as well. Council approved the recommendation with new member Kathy Heider saying she's pleased by this joint venture. I'm very pleased to see that the county and the city are partnering on this initiative and I do believe that it'll be a great thing for the community and the people that live here in the city of Palm Coast. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Flagler Beach is holding an informational forum today on the recovery from Hurricane Nicole. The forum is at Father O'Flaherty Parish Hall at Santa Maria del Mar Catholic Church on North Central Avenue and begins at 5 p.m. City Manager William Woodson says it will be similar to the forum held the following Hurricane Ian. We wanted to have another forum to follow up from Hurricane Nicole. There was so much damage done in the city and we felt like it would be good to have an overview of what happened in the storm, what the city has been doing to recover for the storm, and also what's on the horizon as far as plans to respond to the storms. It begins with representatives from multiple agencies in an informal setting to help residents. Following the uh, one-on-one table conversations, At 6 o'clock, we will start a program. We will walk through what happened in the storm, what we've been doing to respond, and what the future looks like, and then open it up to questions from the citizens that they may be wondering about. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. The holiday season can bring out the worst in some people in Flagler County. There were 783 calls for service in Flagler County handled between last Friday and this Monday, along with 110 traffic stops, according to Sheriff Rick Staley. In one case, several juveniles were arrested. Deputies did an outstanding job arresting three juveniles that had tried to kick in a door of a residence. See something, say something worked. In another case, a woman came from Orlando begging for money to pay for a fake funeral. Deputies determined she had given a false name and also that she had fabricated the entire story on why she needs money. And she came all the way from Orlando to do this. Sheriff Staley adds not to let scammers pull your heartstrings when you only have moments to make a decision and use that to their advantage to fraudulently take your money. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. What are some of the biggest lessons one can learn from history? Ed Sharkovich, who's on the FC3 board and the president of Flagler County Historical Society, said on a recent episode of Lifeline that history, which is a part of FC3, is more than what we memorized in school. Over the years, I've come to understand and, and realize that, that while you know, dates and, and names are, are important, the biggest lessons of history are the life struggles, the survival skills, and the everyday lives and skill sets of people that have come before us that, uh, that are applicable to today. Sharkovich said that's why, when he became the president of the Historical Society in 2018, he joined several other history organizations in the county under one umbrella. 
He said they're now a part of the Flagler County Cultural Council. Lifeline is on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 9, and it's on the Flagler Radio app anytime you want to listen. Tomorrow, the Survey of Arts for Arts. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.